turbo uh, shot. Hot I'm sorry? Hot or ice? Uh, hot, please. That'll do it. The turbo shot. The turbo shot. You got to put up here. No. Yes. All right, it is project day. And what am I kidding? It's always project day here. I'm always having to work on something at the treehouse, but Lunkers TV has brought me something real special. First step to any project day is getting some coffee. So I already did that step. Now I gotta go get some more stuff here at the Home Depot, where I spend most of my money these days. And no, I'm not sponsored by Home Depot. This is the Chobi, the Chobi One in particular. It's like a cheap version of a Hobie kayak. Yesterday we launched the Chobi, and it floated for about, well, it floated with no one in it, just fine. So Lunkers TV has challenged me to make this device float with a person on it. So it's gonna be Chobi 2 now. This is Chobi version 2. Just buckle up guys, it's gonna be a fun one. Okay, so we're fueled up and ready to go. Now if you guys missed the creation of the Chobi 1, you can go check it out on Lunkers channel. He basically brought some stuff over here, we put it together and we put it in the water and you can see what happens. But it was essentially a challenge to see if you could go to a hardware store, put some materials together and actually make a floatable kayak or a small boat. So the goal today is to make some modifications to the Chobi one to make sure that you're staying on top of the water and catching fish. So I've sketched out the designs for the Chobi 2. And what we're gonna be using is some more two by fours. We're gonna be using some lighter PVC material. This is a thinner material. We're also gonna be using the spray foam. And the goal is to add a little bit of catamaran action off to the side. And maybe in the middle, we'll add a keel so that there's, there's middle buoyancy and then there's balance off to the side. I honestly think once I get done with this, the Chobi is gonna be a winner. But we'll let reality be the decision maker on that one. I just can't stress how much nicer it is having some clamps. I use them for all sorts of projects around the treehouse and not having Rob here to help me on this project, having an extra set of hands. This is your extra set of hands right here. Set of these is like 30 bucks, got them on Amazon. So now we got our back keel attached, but I still gotta fill it with foam. We gotta put the caps on. After that, this thing should add some extra buoyancy. That's gonna help us out a lot. Then we're gonna add one to the front and then one off to the side. Hawaiian style for a little extra balance. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pitch and flip out of the Chobi too, but um, you'll definitely be able to stay afloat. One of the main problems with this new PVC that I've got, this is a thinner material. This isn't the scheduled 40 or whatever that other one was. That's super heavy. I wanted to go with something lighter. This one is much, much lighter. Also thinner and more pliable. But when I put one of these caps on, it's kind of loose around the edges. There's an inner ring inside of here. I don't know if you can see that, but if you get it just right, it'll kind of lock into that inner ring. What I'm gonna do is put some construction adhesive on the inside of that to fill those gaps, kind of like caulking. Could also do, use some silicone or something like that if you wanted to. And then I'll have these caps with construction glue and put some foam on the outer side. Keep the water from coming in. That's the number one killer when you're trying to catch a fish, is water coming into your vessel. Gotta get this thing in shape, make it round. Lunkers put a little challenge on me. I'm, I'm determined to get this right. Just to go the extra mile here, what I'm gonna do is take some of this metal bracing material and wrap that around. It's pliable. What would be perfect in this situation is those metal rings that you can just take a flat edge screwdriver and tighten up, but this is just what Lunkers got from the store, so I figured I'd use it. So we got the back keel and the front keel 
built. Now here comes the fun part, attaching this catamaran. The keels are easy because it's basically just slapping a two by four to it. This is not gonna ride in the truck if I stick it two feet out from the kayak. So it's gotta be detachable. That means we gotta go MacGyver mode on this guy. I think the solution here is to build a notch. Build a notch on the top two by four and the bottom two by four. Piece those together like Lincoln logs and I've got an extra attachment that'll be able to lock these in place so you can just take them on and off. <laughs> If this one works, I'll be proud of myself. So after a lot of careful work, this thing has finally taken shape and it's ready to put this little catamaran off to the side. So in order to mount the catamaran, I had to make those notches in the two x four. So I did that using a Dremel. I used my miter saw to kind of guide the first holes and then use the Dremel to shave that section out. Then I was able to install a cane bolt on top of that. So that could be taken out. You could take the whole catamaran off and then put it back in as needed for travel. So now all I gotta do is take this little sealed up pontoon PVC piece and put it on that little uh, detachable unit that I made. Well, after many hours of crafting and creating, we finally have the Chobi 2. Chobi V2, isn't it a beaut? It's been fun building this thing, but now it's time to put it to the test. Now last time me and Lunkers hit the water, it floated, kind of. We're out on the land today, we got one of the ponds right behind us, and we're gonna put it to the test again. Put those front and rear stabilizer units, our side little catamaran. Pond is covered with moss. That's one of the props, we're gonna have to wade through that. But after that, we got a fishing pole, we'll see if we can catch fish off this thing. That's what it's all about, right? I'm gonna buckle up. This is all on you, the maiden voyage. No question, buckling up. Of the Chobi V2. Okay, we've <laughs> added three support systems. <laughs> Went with a lighter PVC material. Are you recording yourself right now? Please say you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording <laughs> over here. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, the Chobi dangler over here just really, really gives it a. Oh, I'm going in. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Rip my cap off! <laughs> you no, ripped my cap off! Hold on, is that both caps off? Oh no, I didn't rip it off, the dirt did. You're shot on there. Wow, this is a good start to the Chobi, baby. Uh, go oh film my gosh. something like that. Are you ready? Here you go, buddy. Boy, this 
this isn't really how I pictured launching it. Ah, uh, we have a negative buoyancy. I'm going down. I can feel it. <laughs> it's covered in doo doo. Oh, can you walk I'll out? Spent six hours on this. <laughs> this might toss me a rod if you can do it. I'm stabilized. You stabilized? I can do this. Once I get out of the grass. Just give her a toss. A great toss, man. You play ball? Yeah. I went, there's a. I, I bought a rod holder. It's coming in handy right now. Come on, Chobie! Uh, hey, oh see, I, I tell you, this works. Look. Something just moved right here. The Chobie V2. You think we can put concrete buckets on there? It's probably going to be a no go, bud. Chobie V2. It's going. It's really hydrodynamic. Okay, I'm just going to go down this weed line. <laughs> Try to look for a quality strike. Oh, I got him. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> right a little bit. <laughs> you better believe that right there. Good, yes. Good there we go. Hey, yes. you got it, dude. dude you are no. the Choby King. Oh, Choby yes. King, baby. He got it. He got a fish off the Choby. That's what I'm talking about. Top water popper strike all day. Yeah, it just peed on me too. <laughs> oh, foil ahead. That's it. That was a uh, turtle. Was it a turtle? Yeah. Dang it. Oh, bass! <gasps> big crappie! It was a big crappie! Big crappie, dude. Big, I'm not kidding. Big crappie came up, figure eight. About a two pound crappie. Smoked it. Bass got it. Big crappie. Crappie got it. Doodle in him. I doodled the crappie! That is a chovey! That's a big one! That's a slab. Come here, buddy. Oh, can you believe that? Figure eight in him. Ah, I hooked myself. Look at that. You're behind a tree, buddy. There you go. Figure eight, crappie. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. Well, that was that was really amazing. Oh, I just wiped cow poop on my chin. 100. percent It looks like I, it. I can smell it. It's it's crusty out here. I have crusty cow poop on my face. Oh, you're recording that. That's what I'm oh, talking about. Absolutely. I wanted to get that. You guys got to see me catch catch a fish. Out of a daggum. Three. I, I definitely caught more than one. Out of this thing right here. How much did you uh, dangle into this thing? I'm 100 deep. He went 100 deep. I put in 40 today at the Home Depot. That was basically, what was it? What was a challenge on your channel to yeah, do? Kinda, yeah. Can you do something yeah. uh, with I, 100 bucks? It was $100. It was 100. It didn't completely exactly fail. It floated submersively. So the whole goal was to make this sucker float, and it did long enough to catch a fish. Oh, no! How did we know we were about to high five you? Choby. Choby. Choby V2. Hitting the market. iCast 2019. Coming at ya. So I was happy to take on that challenge from Luckers to get that baby to float up. And I think the Choby V3 is going to be the deal. So realistically, if you guys want to take that same sort of design and make some more modifications where it floats a little better, you can do it for about a hundred bucks. You just may want to put a limit on your fishing time because it probably won't stay out that long. Hey, thanks for stopping by here today, guys. And if you want to see me build some more stuff, let me know in the comments. What else should I build? Don't forget to subscribe right here and hit the ding dong so you get all the notifications. And I have got to go. I've got to go wash myself because I've got water in all my premises. But I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are, guys, and catching mondos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.